Hello there, Dominic here with the second video about the pen tool in Modo and in this video I will be covering the type lines and the type vertices. Let's see this in action. So right click over here, pen tool and by default it says type polygon. I'm going to change this now to type lines. I'm going to leave the rest of the settings alone. I'm going to turn off snapping for now and start clicking and what happens is with each click I create a line segment I'm going to drop my tool click to deselect everything and when I'm in polygon mode you see polygons when I click and drag over that one you see these are polygons like that when I go to edge mode double click I select them all Z to edge extent right click in the viewport drag this out you see now I have geometry like that. Press Ctrl Z to undo, deselect everything, activate my pin tool again. So this is what happens by default in type lines. I'm going to click to start a new one. Again we have current points, it shows the one selected. When I click this point you see index 2, this point index 0 and with the point selected I can also set it manually over here, for instance to 1, now it jumps to 1 meter, Control Z to undo, and it's while well, the tool is interactive, I can keep on clicking to add new ones, when this is selected and click here, it adds one in between, shift, shift click starts a new one, I can also drag it and it will snap to that one, you see the square also becomes bigger when it snaps to that one and when merge is on these vertices gets get merged so going to drop the tool press spacebar to go to polygon mode and double click on this and you see it selected everything so this got merged when I middle mouse button drag select this vertex see over here one vertex it got merged again the pen tool set the lines, I can set it to closed and then it will create a closed loop like you see and with each click it adds a new one when I select this one I add one in between those and again like that I can edit it and again snap it to other words like that maybe like that depending on what you want oh, when you, you click off one you create a new word so control Z to undo hover over it until the vertex gets blue, becomes blue, and click and drag. What else do we have? We have wall mode, but first I'm going to set these show options, so I can also set show angles, and now yeah, you see when I click and drag, you get a numerical feedback about the angles. I can also show handles when I want to constrain it to a certain direction, like that. Show numbers will show me the indexes, the current points numbers, may be useful for certain operations. I'm going to turn it off and going to turn this off. And drop the tool for now, deselect everything, activate the paint tool again and check out wall mode. So with type lines you have an option to set it to wall mode. You cannot do that with type polygons. So with type lines you can set wall mode, now it's off, so this was what you get with when it's off, and also I have closed, I'm going to uncheck closed. So what happens when I set it to inner? Nothing apparently in my lines disappear, but this is because the offset is set to zero, and I can set the offset over here by entering a value, or I can right click in the viewport, and you see I get a purple circle with a numerical feedback about the diameter, about the offset. So 400 millimeters, you see, offset 400 millimeters, and it drew, drew a second line, which can be very useful to create floor plans. When it's set to outer, it will do it on the other side. When you set it to both sides, it will uh, create geometry on both sides of these points and while the tool is active I can still edit this right click to decrease 
my offsets like that so that these points are active and I can click and drag like that um, when you have set a wall mode when I set it off and set the inset then and set the inset to for instance I'm going to say my grid size is 100 millimeters so I'm going to for instance say 30 millimeters and now what has happened shift A to fit everything you see I have rounded off these corners when I select this point you see it gets rounded and this controls the number of segments so I can decrease that when it's set to zero I only have two points which is kind of strange because normally I would expect at zero that it's only one vert and I think something buggy is going on anyway I'm going to set it at one now it works two now I have two segments three like that now when I have a wall mode for instance inner you have to be careful with that because you see it's only kind of the outside when it's uh, I don't know how you call this uh, when it's concave or convex uh, this side I, I don't know but the other side does not get rounded again here it gets rounded but not here so if you want to create symmetrical line segments then it's best when wall mode is on it's best to set the inset to zero and now you see these are completely symmetrical which can often is the preferred way if you want to for instance I'm going to double click this and shift double click that to select these edges then hover over an edge right click and bridge click now my polygons have been flipped so I'm going to press F to flip everything you see I've bridged these so with the if I had set an inset then I would have had a different number of vertices over here and then my bridge would not have functioned as well as as well as it did with an equal number of vertices okay so I'm going to start a new one so my wall mode is set to inner I have an offset right click and drag to change the offset uh, again I can snap it to existing geometry like that uh, I can again sh say show angles to show my angles I can show handles to constrain on a certain axis like that show numbers again um, again make UVs check out the manual for this uh, I can set my pin snap option so for instance when I turn on snapping then you see world axis snap straight line snap and right angle snap by default are on also recast handle position comes available and now you see it snaps you see a crosshair appear when at a certain point by dragging a crosshair appears and this is a point that it will snap to when I go over there so this can be useful to create floor plans like that okay and snap it to there so this will not merge automatically so okay so I have a kind of a floor plan um, going to stop for a while to check something okay I'm back I think I have covered most of the pen tool with type lines I'm going to de drop the tool select it again and maybe turn off this and set snapping options they are already on and set snapping options to grid which can also be useful for making a floor plan so now when I drag click and drag it gets snapped to my grid which can be a very easy way to create a floor plan like that 
snapping options. Of course I can fine tune my snapping options. Shift click to start a new one. So as you see, very easy to rapidly create uh, floor plans with snapping options set to grid. So I think and I hope I've covered everything. Again I set it to closed or not. Uh, merge the vertices when they are snapped to one another. Um, okay, so I think this is type lines. I'm also going to sh press Ctrl M to clear my scene, backspace to clear everything. Activate the pen tool, Ctrl D to reset everything. Turn off my snapping options and this time set it to vertices. Click and keep on clicking and now when I drop the tool I have created a number of vertices. This can be a handy way to quickly create a point cloud. Of course in Modo we also have other tools to, to create point clouds but as you see with the pen tool I'm going to press escape a couple of times to clear everything. Pen tool to vertices. Uh, these options don't really matter with the pen tool. I can set my wall mode but again I don't th think if it's very useful with type vertices but I can. Uh, again by resetting my tool offset got zero so right click and drag to create uh, an offset. It's set to inner and now we see with each click I create a second vert or to outer or to both sides and I, while the tool is active I can edit it so it can be useful like that. When this one is for instance selected clicking will add in between just like other times we have seen it. These don't do very much with type vertex again show numbers show handles to constrain on a certain axis like that. And of course I can turn on snapping options uh, the inset, maybe 25 millimeters, it will create extra verts over there, maybe 100 millimeters to make it more visible, even more, 250 millimeters. So you see ever all different options to create point clouds, if you will. So I've I drop the tool right now, you see I have a number of vertices created. If you want to create a special kind of point cloud, you can do so with the pen tool with various options. And again, you can also constrain to background and create, just like in the previous video, uh, vertices on a background mesh. So I think I've covered most of type lines and vertices. I hope you found it useful. This was Dominic. Bye for now.